Vanessa E. Wish is Director of Johnson Space Center for NASA, home to America's Astronaut Corps, Mission Control Center, and the International Space Station. With more than 11,000 employees, she's responsible for human space flights and leads the way in exploring the Moon and Mars with NASA's Artemis spacecraft. How can organisations such as EMBS help provide support to women who want to pursue a career in STEM? Uh, yeah, so Robin, I would uh, thank you for asking that question. Uh, as a um, Engineering student, you know, for me, it was important to have organizations like this where I could go and be with others that were, um, you know, endeavoring to get their degree, first of all, uh, for encouragement, you know, for inspiration to continue on my journey. And then as a professional, it's important for us to have organizations where we could go and uh, we can encourage one another. We can learn and uh, we can be inspired to continue on in our journey. Because as you said, with there being only 15% of the entire workforce, then uh, it's important for us to know that there are others that are already kind of out there. They're doing this. And then for them to share, to mentor, to help others to move to the next level. It's a fascinating time to work in space. But you don't have to be an astronaut to work in the space industry, do you? Absolutely. You know, there's so many, 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 many careers. You know, everything from, you know, we, we're, we're talking about biomedical specifically, uh, but so many different engineering degrees, so many uh, science degrees uh, in terms of um you know, the people that, that are working on the projects, um, but also, you know, operators, flight controllers, flight directors, um, then also, but we have to do what we do in space to actually build things and, and launch them requires so many different, you know, everything from, you know, uh, accountants, lawyers, uh, business professionals of every kind. We need communication specialists. All of these careers are a part of what it takes. And so I say to any woman, and especially want to say to every woman, there is a place for you in space and please join us. Can you elaborate on how the work in space is so important for life on Earth and why the work that you do is so important across the board? Yeah. So one of the things, especially from, you know, from a um, bio standpoint, is a lot of the, the research that's being done on the International Space Station today. I mean, we're doing research on uh, cancer, on um, you know, different uh, types of um, illnesses uh, and uh, the way that you're able to grow cells without having gravity on them. We're able to do pharmaceutical research. Um, all of those things benefit us. With the International Space Station, one of the big things for me, especially right now, is we're dealing with the aftermath of a hurricane. Uh, we have sensors on board that allow us uh, to um, not only study the climate and, and help with that, but to specifically help when we're in recovery situations. Um, but, you know, the technologies that we have that we're using today uh, here on Earth, a lot of people kind of take for granted that they're there. You know, GPS, you know, you just, you know, use it every day. You don't think about how it came to be. Uh, but uh, if we did not have the research that was done uh, through space research, we would not have uh, those advances. Just to wrap up, tell us about the Artemis mission and your big goal to reach Mars. Uh, first, for the Artemis mission, of course, um, we um, know that we're gonna we're gonna learn a lot. We're gonna learn how to live on another body before we go to Mars. But then also we'll expand what we learn from research, and uh, so then. At Mars, especially, uh, then it's going to open up the doors for us to, be, to go into the solar system, farther and further out into the solar system. And, and those are the big, big, big goals that we're trying to achieve. Vanessa, thank you very much for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure. 